What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is my Jayco 145RB that we purchased about three years ago from St. George, Utah at a Camping World. Since then, me and my wife, we've been traveling all across the United States. Um, it's seen the mountains, it's seen the desert. So with that being said, I figure now is a great time to show the wear and tear after that use and the build quality and just how I intend on planning on improving it for future use. Starting on the exterior of the camper, you can see the paint held up pretty well. That's a 10 foot power awning has uh, worked out very well. I did have a little bit of a mishap and I actually had to custom make this piece right here. It actually, uh, they bend pretty easy, but I used a piece of aluminum and uh, repaired it myself because parts are very hard to come by. Um, you pretty much gotta buy the whole mechanism. But I improvised. Walking around, see it's not in uh, bad shape at all considering all the use that it's had. I actually added that storage right there. It's just a uh, toolbox from Lowe's for a pickup truck. I reinforced the bumper and I just made that little mount there. It mounts in a hitch carrier. The seals and everything around uh, the edges, the lights and everything in three years in a future video, I do plan on going across every seal, every window, all that I feel it's about time all that needs to be gone over. It's you just can't trust that stuff with an age and these campers they're prone to rot and things like that so I'm gonna get it done. So it actually from the bumper to the ball it's 16 foot 6 inches long the actual living space is 14 and a half feet. It has a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. It has a, I believe it's an 18,000 BTU propane furnace, six gallon hot water heater, propane fired. It is not, you, let, you have to come out and do it manually. It has a two way refrigerator, 30 amp, I added two 100 watt Renogy solar panels and two extra 100 watt amp hour, or I'm sorry, 100 amp hour batteries uh, for just the solar system. I do not have that uh, wired directly to any of the camper wiring. I just use it strictly off a uh, off an inverter. We have used this camper for a lot of uh, dry camping or boondocking, if you will, and it's been a really, really great uh, vehicle, actually. Excuse the motorcycle noise. Um, a few issues that I think need to be addressed is, well, for one, you could see I could come down here and you could focus on the tire size right there is a 13 inch tire. I don't appreciate the tire size being that small, especially when the load rating on the tire states that you can see the condition of the tire here too. But if I look around here, there may be, I actually looked it up once before, but it's actually 1300 pounds per tire. The camper weighs 2400 pounds total dry weight. I assume that's probably why this tire began to cup like it did. Uh, I mean, it did have a lot of towing use. It's got a lot of miles on it. That's just my opinion. One of the things I do plan on doing in the future is I am going to uh, lift the trailer. Um, they actually do make a Jayco 145RB that's a Baja edition that has a larger wheel and tire and it's lifted off the ground. I'm gonna mimic that. I'm just gonna customize it and do it myself. Um, 
I'm a little unsure on just flipping the axle underneath the leaf springs. That's common on trailers. I don't know if you guys have any info on that. I've never done it. Um, but I do plan on lifting the camper. That's going to be the first thing I do because I want to get them tires replaced. So we'll move on to the inside. Walking inside, the screen door held up pretty good. It only has one little step. Actually, that reminds me. Another thing that I'm not too happy about is it has two stabilizing jacks in the rear. If I pan to the front, there's nothing in the front. It has no jacks, no stabilizing jacks in the front. I've just used, you know, anything I could use to get it to stay stabilized, and it's kind of tough. As far as interior quality, I added a shelf above the sink there, and I added that little shelf underneath the uh, bulkhead um, above the table there. Quality of the interior materials is pretty good, I must say. They held up pretty well. The table turns down into the bed um, the foam and the cushions is not the greatest but what can you do we use a mattress topper you you know it is what it is I added the wall mount with the Samsung TV that didn't come with it they actually recommend to mount the TV over here somewhere so that's where their uh, connection for it is you can see there by my mug um, but overall, this camper has been pretty good. It has no leaks. The roof has been halfway decent. It tows well. I'll open the bathroom. You can see another thing. I added that mirror and the little shelf below the mirror. Typical Thetford toilet. You got your little bathtub I don't know why it's a bathtub it should just be a stand-up shower with the skylight some of the I'm not sure on how far I want to go in remodeling this but I even entertained removing that and putting in a stand-up shower for one give a little bit extra space in there I definitely want to do a porcelain toilet because these little plastic ones are absolutely terrible this bench here along the front I personally don't like it I want to remove that if I stand back it's a small space so I want to utilize as much of the space as I can but I want to remove that bench and maybe just put something that folds up against that wall there with a stool something to sit and look out the window if we need to eat indoors or something but we just basically want it for floor space Underneath there actually is where I have my additional solar batteries. I plan on con converting this dinette and using a futon, I hope, so where that, when we're not using it in the bed, I can fold it up in the futon position, be able to watch to the TV. We eat outdoors, so we don't necessarily need a, a dinette table. Just looking to add a little bit more square footage on the floor to walk around. I'm usually in here with our two dogs and my wife. It has a two-way refrigerator that works pretty decent. Haven't had any issues in it. It's a Norcold. Pretty basic and manual. Nothing, nothing digital or any of that. And this is it. It's got a little microwave, high point microwave, just like everything else. Uh, your Coleman, very common 13,500 BTU air conditioner. Has a little sound stream stereo system. I have a multimeter there with a magpie feather from Montana. And this is our little camper. So in the future, like I said, a lot of changes planned to come with this. Um, it's just one thing at a time. So.
So if there's anything that you're interested or uh, yeah. So if there's anything I didn't show that you're interested in, please let me know in the comments. I'd be glad to answer all your questions. And um, any tips and tricks on improving this, maybe you guys have a little bit better idea of what I could do with the bathroom space, possibly even removing this bench. Um, maybe somebody will have a better idea to do with that little bit of space than I do. Um, the only thing I do have underneath here to worry about is that there right about here somewhere is where the tire is so there's a little bit of a wheel hump there i'll have to take care i'll have to make something to cover other than that that whole bench can come out and we could have that floor space so i hope you guys like this video i hope there's some good information here for some people so please like this video if you found it informational Subscribe if you want to see any of the changes that I plan to do in the future, and we'll see you guys next time.